BodyViz takes real human anatomy and renders medical images into interactive 3D models. Using BodyViz on your personal laptop is an easy process. BodyViz loads the scan data into a 3D rendered volume. This BodyViz file is rendered from a CT scan of a patient's heart. You can maneuver through the BodyViz file and navigate the 3D volume by using an Xbox controller, your mouse, or touch features. There are three methods of moving the volume around the screen. To rotate the volume, left-click and drag with your mouse. Zoom in and out by right-clicking and dragging. To pan your view, click within the scroll wheel of your mouse and drag. If you're using a trackpad without a second or third button option, pressing the Z key on your keyboard while clicking and dragging the volume also allows you to zoom. Pressing the X key while clicking and dragging pans the volume across the screen. Each file automatically opens with the view menu on the left side of the screen. This panel can be hidden or unhidden using the expand or collapse chevron on the right side of the panel. With this menu, you can observe the given anatomy with different pre-selected dissection settings applied. Let's explore the view menu and its features. Groups act as containers to organize views and are named according to the content they host. Groups can be expanded or collapsed to show or hide their respective views. Within each group, multiple views have been carefully created to act as an interactive dissection lab and enhance the active learning module. Clicking on a view instantly configures the 3D patient data to show pre-selected settings that optimize dissections. These settings may change the color of the volume, annotation pins and labels, tissue density, cross-sections, and orientations in space. Each view reveals important features of the anatomy with a simple click. You can toggle through all the views using your game controller bumper buttons or by clicking with your mouse and trackpad. View descriptions can be revealed by clicking the small chevron to the right of the view name. Here, you can find additional information about some views or instructions for completing an activity. Now, we will use the annotation panel on the right side of the screen and follow the instructions. On the left side of each annotation box is a bullet. Clicking this bullet will toggle the leader line on and off for the appropriate orb. To begin editing the annotation boxes in the labeling activity view, click the pencil icon on an annotation box. Now, the box will expand so you can label the annotated structure and save your work by clicking the checkmark icon. Note that you can also add a description to your annotation and change the color. You can then check off each term from the activity list as you fill out the annotations. Depending on your classroom, you may want to submit your work as screenshots or export your answers as text files to receive a grade. The topics covered in this video were Navigating a BodyViz file Toggling through saved views in the view menu Labeling and editing annotation boxes